you know what to do, don't you? Okay. So the first one we're gonna do, just a straight uh, bridge. So what we wanna make sure you do is not to, not to chin poke. So nice and straight, lean against the ball, ball on, your, on, your, on your forehead. So arms by your side or arms across your chest. So just do that, let me just start off with. That's all right, easy. So let's move your feet back and try it again. So a little bit more pressure. Yeah, so don't chin poke like that. So get your, get your head back, that's why. So that's why, so nice and straight. So you want a nice straight line, straight line through the, through the, through the neck. So you don't want to be like poking your, poking your head out. Okay, so let's do the same thing. We'll do it on the side. So we'll do it, we'll do it laterally. So turn your head to the side. Same thing, we don't want to be putting your head over to the ball. So let's get straight. So start again. Let's start off nice and close to the ball. So, okay, that's better. So keeping your, keep your eye line straight. So let's move your feet out a little bit. Okay, so what I usually do is start off with a nice, uh, a nice straight line through the, through the neck. But what we do to make this harder is we'll lift that uh, inside foot up. Okay, and we're going to drop your hip over this side. So drop your hip in. So you can, it'll, it'll get, get harder and it feels harder. But we actually want to get you. Let's move your foot, your outside foot in a little bit. So in a little bit. So what we can, what we want to try and do is have that, have that leg up, shift your hips to the side, and get, get a nice straight line through your, through your back. So drop your hip right over, and drop your head down. So we want to get down lower. So drop down lower, and drop your hip across. And you'll find that's harder holding that, holding that straight line. Okay, so just do it, turn around, do it from the back, so we can see it from the back. So, we don't want it, we want to keep a nice straight line through the neck. And the way we make, the way we increase that, yeah, that's the way, and dropping down. So squatting down on that, on that outside leg. So we've got a nice, a nice straight line down through the, through the, through the back and through the neck. And we've got that pressure, pressure on the neck, rather than, rather than just, you can come up, baby, rather than, rather than just sending the, sending the feet out, we do the same thing from behind. So lean into it backwards, and we'll start off just, walking your feet out and keeping a nice straight line. But what we'll do to make it harder is actually just sit back, squat back and squat down, and that'll increase the pressure. So keep a nice straight line, eye line straight, perfect. And work the neck that way. So tilt your head forward a little bit. No, so go forward the other way a little bit. Yeah, keep it nice and straight. So we want to keep a nice neutral position. Okay, so come up. So what we'll also do, so the same way that the same, I treat sort of neck training the same way I treat uh, abdominal training. So we do it, uh, do some static work, we do some dynamic work. So what we'll do now is that head against the head against the ball there, and we'll just do a nod. So what we want to do is get the ball in the right position so we can roll roll that chin all the way, tuck the chin all the way in, and roll all the way back. So just to touch the nose. So move your feet back a little bit and move the ball up a little bit on your head. That's the way. So, yep, from that position all the way down, all the way up, okay? So we do that in the yes position. We also do it in the no position. So get the head straight, and we'll actually do it laterally. So once again, we're gonna do it dynamically. So what we're gonna do is go uh, an ear touch to ear touch. So head against, the, head against the ball, nice and flat, all the way to one side, all the way to one side. So one side to the other. That's the way, ear to ear. So move your feet back, let's put a little bit more pressure on. So get the ball a bit higher, that's why. So keeping it that neutral position, side to side. Spot on. And we do the same thing from behind. So doing it with a nod and rolling backwards and forwards. So what we don't want, or the only thing we don't want, like with, uh, well not the only thing we don't want, but one of the things we don't want with uh, neck training, we don't want any, any sort of compression. The neck, so we don't want any pressure from the, from the top down. Now the other one, if you come with me, what we'll do, so we'll grab a band. So, come and sit down here, Damien. So what we're gonna do, have you done this one before? With your feet, sink your feet through here. So, uh, no, actually, no, I'll do it. So, what we'll do, I'll do it first. So we'll see if we can get Damien to do it. So, you're gonna have your feet, uh, feet on the ground, feet through the band, band over the back of your head. So what we're gonna do, nice low hand position here. And what we're trying to do, Come all the way up. So we're working right through the through the neck and through the through the shoulder, up to straight without that chin tuck. So let's see if we can get Damien to do it. You got bump, Barry. You're not going to be a star now. Damien's going to get to get to star. So hands and eyes reasonably low, just sort of below your knees. Usually ends up. So you don't want them too high. You want them sort of halfway through the band. 
Yeah, so try and get your head back a bit more. So come from the side here, Denise, and film it. So what we want to try and do, because what we want to try and practice is getting those arms out, out arms out further. Let's just do it without the band to start off with. So what we want to do is in that up position, have your neck neutral, be rounded through the shoulders, shoulders down and back. So we want a nice, a, a nice sort of circle through the, through the shoulders. So you've got good control right through the shoulder girdle into the arms. So, and, and pressing out, hold it nice and fixed. So the arms nice and relaxed, shoulders back and together and hold in that position. Yep, so let's try and get a bit rounder through your arms. So you need to have your hands a bit lower, that's the way you've got long arms. So press them back and try and get your head back more. That's the way. That's the way. It's a tough exercise to do, but what it does is it sort of links everything together. Why don't you just try that one before you go? Yeah, just give me it because I was supposed to. Do yeah, that. so you like, but I, I think it's a good one, especially. Well, yeah, so round the round, put the band around the back of your head. So what we're going to do, just above your ear line there. No, so just there. So get your hands down lower. So get the, get your feet nice and even. So you're sitting sitting flat. And what we're doing is pushing back. So lifting your head up and arms out. So what we want to be is nice and round through the shoulders. Actually, we'll just try a lighter band just to get it right to start off with. To whip them off. Right with the light band. So you've got the leg square band over the back of your head. So push them back. We want to be round, like round through those, through the, through the arms. So get your shoulders down and arms pressing out, like pushing out against your head. So that's the way and get your get your get your neck back flat. That's the way. So push them out and back. That's the way. And trying to get your neck neutral. That's the way. Perfect. Really yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It is a very competitive world. So what uh, what I'll do is I'll leave it there, and we'll do some uh, some weighted stuff uh, later on. Smile. <laughs>